Hello and welcome to part 5 of Generative Adversarial Network. Today we shall be discussing fractionally strided convolution. Fractionally strided convolutions are used for upsampling. If you remember, GANs use latent uh, variable or latent sample from where it generates the data samples which are as real as possible. So from this low dimensional uh, vector, which is a latent vector, we generate samples which can be images or which can be any other data sample. For doing so, we are using upsampling here through fractionally strided convolution. There are other methods also for upsampling like bilinear interpolation or cubic interpolation, but this is the one that uses a neural network that learns upsampling through the samples that we provide to it. So I will explain to you fractionally strided convolution through an example. First, we perform convolution operation on a 4 cross 4 image. Let me write down the image uh, entries here. 4, 3, 2, 1, then 1, 4, 3, 2, 2, 1, 4, 3, and 3, 2, 1, 4. Suppose these are the image entries. And suppose we take a 3 cross 3 filter with entries say 0, 1, 0, minus 1, 2, minus 1, and 0, 1, 0. You know how to perform convolution operation on this. So this will lead to a 2 cross 2 matrix which you know how to compute. So 8, 6, 2, 8. You know that we will be applying convolution operation by taking the dot product of this matrix with first the entries here, then the second entry can be calculated by taking that dot product of the same filter with the entries here. The third entry which is 2 will be obtained by taking the dot product with this and finally taking the dot product with this, these, this part of the matrix. This 8 will be obtained. So from a 4 cross 4 matrix, which is a 16 dimensional vector, we are reducing this to a 2 cross 2 matrix, which is a 4 dimensional vector. So let us write down the convolution matrix here. Convolution matrix that we are going to write will be a 4 cross 16 matrix because we consider this 4 cross 4 input as a 16 dimensional vector and we can think of this as matrix multiplication by convolution matrix which is 4 cross 16 to a 16 cross 1. So output will be leading to a 4 cross 1 vector which can be arranged in a 2 cross 2 matrix as we wrote here. So what is the convolution matrix? I will write down one by one the entries. So this convolution matrix First of all, the first row is formed by taking the filter values 0, 1, 0. Then I will put an auxiliary 0 here. Then minus 1, 2, minus 1. I will put an auxiliary 0 again. And then 0, 1, 0. And finally an auxiliary 0 here. But then we have to make it a 16 column matrix. So I will be putting four more auxiliary zeros. The next row will be obtained by shifting these entries which are here. 
by uh, 1 which are here by 1 so up to here so what we will do I will put a sorry I will put a auxiliary 0 here and then 0 1 0 and then auxiliary 0 before we write minus 1 2 minus 1 and then again an auxiliary 0 here then 0 1 0 the third row of this convolution and then finally all the zeros auxiliary zeros are kept here now the third row will be a little different in the third row we begin with the four auxiliary zeros which are written here and then we will write the terms of the filter which are here so this will be 0 1 0 and then an auxiliary 0 here and then minus 1 to minus 1 an auxiliary 0 here and then 0 1 0 and finally an auxiliary 0 here okay the last entry in this matrix the last row will be having five auxiliary zeros and then we repeat the same process zero one zero an auxiliary zero here minus one two minus one and auxiliary zero here and then zero one zero this is how our convolution matrix is created to understand how a fractionally strided convolution upsamples a given input, let us consider the previous convolution matrix and take its transpose. Now this transpose that we have uh, seen is uh, will be operating on a 2 cross 2 matrix. So let us take for the sake of convenience the same output that we considered earlier 8628 now we will stretch this to a vector of dimension 4 cross 1 so 8628 this is the vector I will multiply this C transpose with the matrix this is suppose Z so if we consider C transpose Z, this will be of 16 cross 1 dimension. Now this 16 cross 1 can be transformed to a 4 cross 4 matrix. So essentially we have taken a 2 cross 2 matrix here and we have upsampled this to a 4 cos 4 matrix so remember that this 8 that we obtained is what this 8 is a result of a convolution operation on a 4 cross 4 matrix by a 3 cross 3 filter so this 8 must be having association with nine entries now if you count these entries here you can see that these entries which we are considering are entries of the same filter 0 1 0 minus 1 2 minus 1 and then 0 1 0 then you must be wondering why these zeros which are auxiliary zeros are appearing here now remember that this 4 cross 4 matrix that initial matrix that we took for the sake of convenience I am putting here star in place of exact entries so this 4 cross 4 matrix how this 8 was obtained this 8 which is the first 8 is obtained by taking the 
फिल्टर जीरो वन जीरो माइनस वन टू माइनस वन जीरो वन जीरो ऑन दिस एंड देन मल्टीप्लाइंग ईच कॉम्पोनेंट विद द corresponding filter entry and you can see that after this 010 whatever is appearing here is of no meaning and therefore in place of this i will be putting a zero value so you can see that z this zero matches with this zero one matches with this one here zero matches with this zero here and this last entry in place of this last entry i am putting an auxiliary zero so i hope you understand that the second auxiliary entry that we are considering here this is basically this entry is basically because of no relevance of this entry here and similarly the third entry which is appearing here because of no relevance of this convolution operation for this particular place here finally these four entries also have no relevance on the present convolution operation which is resulting in eight and therefore you will find these four auxiliary zero entries similarly for 6 which is the second entry here you can see that the 6 will be having association this is the result of association of the convolution with these nine entries and therefore you will find a first auxiliary entry here this is the first auxiliary entry then 010 then the second auxiliary entry then minus 1 to minus 1 the third auxiliary entry then 0 10 and again you will find that these have no meaning with the present convolution operation and therefore you will find here four auxiliary zeros and similarly for the other two rows and hence you can now understand that the transpose convolution operation or the fractionally stridet convolution operation is basically a matrix multiplication of the input vector which is a 2 cross 2 matrix to an output matrix output vector which will be resulted in a 4 cross 4 matrix so the entries after multiplication here you will find the entries to be 08 to 0 minus 8 12 12 minus 6 and then minus 2 4 and then minus 8 finally 0 2 8 this will be the transpose convolution which will be the result of transpose convolution operation on this matrix 8 6 to 8 we just saw how a transpose convolution can be constructed this is also known as a fractionally stridet convolution remember that this is not a deconvolution as erroneously mentioned in some papers and blogs a deconvolution is basically inverse operation of a convolution remember that this actual weight values that we have constructed here need not come from the convolution matrix they are learned from training a neural network that is all for today we shall resume our discussion on gan in next video